Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use w3schools.com spaces. So with spaces, you'll be able to build a static website. And I'm not sure if you are going to be allowed to use something like PHP, JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to test out if I'm going to be able to use JavaScript and stuff on spaces. So as you notice, we only have 100 MB storage here. So that's not a lot, but it should be sufficient for a basic portfolio page. So if you have already created an account, you can simply click on login right here. Or if you have not, you can click on sign up and create an account for yourself. But I'm going to log in and right now I'm logged into my spaces. So now as you notice, I have my space here and as you notice it says wheelchair and if I just click on it it will just open it so this is my awesome space as you notice there are no ads which is a good thing so that's a good start um, right now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to go click somewhere here and as you notice right here you'll see that we have three files here. So we have the index, the styles, and the JS. So I can work here, you know, I can create a new file. And right here, it just created a new HTML file. So right now it has created that HTML file, but I don't want that. I'm just gonna delete it. And right here, I'm going to edit the index.html actually. So I'm going to click on edit. And this is the index. And I have, you know, already linked that script.js. Um, however, I'm going to type in, change this header one to the wheelchair guy, for example. And I'm going to save it. If I preview it, this is how it looks. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to the JS file. So I'm going to click on edit, which is this one. And I'm going to basically type in some code. So I'm going to create a basic alert and I'm going to say hello, something like that. See my colon there, save, preview. So it's it previews the script, but that's not what I want. I want to open the spaces. So I want to open the space. So if I open the space, as you know, nothing is happening, so let me see. I think I have done something wrong with the code. Let's see. So this is going to be like that, like that. Okay, so now if I save this, and if I refresh it, nothing is happening. I mean, I still have the alert. It should have alerted us right here. So this is the script.js. So let's, let's see what I'm doing wrong. So alert, okay, alert. Message, I'm going to say hello. Hello world, something like that. So save it and refresh it. So it sucks when you click on preview, you know, it's not working. So it's, it's kind of new. And right here, you see, I don't see any JavaScript. So JavaScript is dead. It's not working. I'm not sure. I wonder if I can, you know, include this inside of the other one. I mean, inside of the index. So let's see if I can just place my, instead of linking the script, I can simply uh, type in the script here. Just like that. And I can place that alert here. So save it and refresh it. Yeah, it works. So it did not properly uh, include it. That's why I just added the script here. So you can use, um, you know, a script, but you know, with the external one, it did not work for some reason. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to close this. And I'm going to create a PHP file. So let's see if we can create a PHP file. And if we can run it on 
the W3 school spaces. So I'm going to click on file new and I'm going to say PHP. There you go, create. So now I'm going to get rid of all of this and I'm going to save this all php so i'm just going to use all php here all right so i'm going to say echo and i'm going to type in something so i'm going to say uh echo uh testing php so it should print this out and i'm going to you know place it on desktop i'll call it test all right so this will be test.php i know it can run html uh, JavaScript and CSS, but let's see if it's going to be able to run PHP files. So I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to go to the one that I just created. So you see it does not appear. So let's see, where did I save it? Da -da -da, where is PHP? Click on desktop. And, uh, this is not good. It's not showing me the test.php. So Let's see. So test.php is here. So the test.php could not be uploaded. All right. So it does not support PHP. Here is my conclusion about W3Schools spaces. So if you are learning HTML, JavaScript, or CSS, I think space is a good place to publish your pages, you know. But if you are trying to create a form and if you are trying to receive, uh, you know, an email from your space to your email account, that will definitely not work. So I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. So if you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them below in the comments and I will be able to answer all of your questions. So thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you all in the next videos.